there seems to be a washer for the back one, but not for the front one, which presumably I mean means it got lost at some point in its past. So I'm not quite sure whether it needs one. Let's check the schematics. So I'm not going to talk anything up just yet. I'm going to check to see what's missing. Take it from there. Typically, um, which is common with this particular build, uh, the three um, of the head bolts have gone in fine, no problem. Discover we're missing a washer for this one, 10mm, uh, which goes in that nice little hole there. Um, so that's tomorrow's job, is try and find a 10mm washer locally, um, which isn't always as easy as you think it is. So hopefully tomorrow we can get that torque down and then start rebuilding the top end completely and uh, then we're starting to see some light at the end of the tunnel I'm going for 36 newton meters. So I'm going to start with my little torque wrench. Uh, I'm going to go up to 9, then 15, um, and then I'm going to go onto the bigger torque wrench and take it up from there. And we're going to go in diagonal pattern as is suggested. So we'll start here 1, 2, 3, 4, I guess. We'll see how we get on. But First things first, I'm just going to nip it down and um, make sure. You can already feel there's a little bit of settlement there because um, those were finger tight and now it's loose. Just make sure there's nothing binding or holding up. That's the first of nine Newton meters. Pull that up. What's best? Come on. Stable's what we need. There we go. Slow shot. Just. Okay, so we're going to up that up now to 15 Newton meters. larger torque wrench. Okay, we're ready with the bigger torque wrench now. We're going to take it up to 28 Newton meters. We'll 
take you up to 36 now. 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. So here we go. This should be the final talk for this. take it up. That's that one. Just twist this because I'm struggling to get the angle. That one, that one. Thirty-six newton meters. Set that back to zero. Right. Now I have to tighten these two nuts here, six mil ones, and either side of the cylinder. There's the um, the nuts that go on there, and they're supposed to be torqued up to settings, but I can't get a torque wrench in there, so I'm just going to have to use my um, expertly calibrated hand. Um, I'm going to tighten them uh, to what I can best guesstimate. It's very difficult but I'm just basically not going to over tighten them. They can always be tightened later but very difficult to um, sort out if I strip the threads. as much as I want to do on that. Okay, it's time to put a side cover on. Um, we need to do that now because um, it has to be uh, on there in order to set TDC correctly. Um, so that uh, we can set up the timing on the cams. Okay, now I'm just putting that thrust washer back on there, which originally came off of this position here um, and we ca carefully mark the outward face not that I think it makes any difference but that's what we've got to do actually before I do anything else as well I'm going to put some tape over these splines so that we don't damage the new seal when we slide it on Goes. A bit of oil on there to help loop the new seal onto the shaft. Got to loop the tape as well. Go. 
Let's get some more lubed. Alright, what could go wrong? Feel the magnets from the rotor pulling on the case, which is trying to skew it out. Not helping matters. Which bolt goes where? This definitely needs replacing because the screw head is totally chewed out of it and it's difficult to remove. It is replaced but I don't think they're stupidly expensive. Okay, I've temporarily put the um, camshaft in place and looped the cam chain over the top and I've set the, um, the uh, piston to TDC um, but I'm going to take a break now because my feet are freezing and dinner's ready so I'll come back to this later I'll probably move the camera over here somewhere so that we can get a better look from this angle and then we've got the great fiddle of putting the cam sprocket onto the chain and onto the camshaft and keeping it at TDC. We'll find out. It'll either be really easy or a bit of a fiddle. <laughs> 